Hi guys, this is my Mechabellium review. You won't be getting the words, the words, because I feel like I've swallowed 10 razor blades. My throat is just bad. I can't talk very well. This is why I've had no videos all week, because um, I've been poorly. Cass brought in the lurky uh, and really nasty flu from the school that she's working at. And um, I resisted it for two weeks, but then I fell down to it on Monday, and that's why I've had no videos. So I'll try and be quick with this, but at the same time give you enough info just to see whether you want to buy it or not. So it's called Mechabellium, it's a strategy game. It's actually called Mechbellum. I don't know why I'm saying Mechabellium or something, it's Mechbellum. And it is a very deep strategic game. It's an auto battler, and a lot of people will look at that and say, oh, auto battlers are just mobile phone shitty games. Well, no, this is very deep and very, very tactical. You can play it solo against the AI, you can play it co-op, or you can play it PvP. The main focus is, I would definitely say, is PvP with this. There's tournaments and all kinds of stuff going on. There's a huge community, considering it's just a small, cheap little indie game. That's actually from Paradox, I believe. So how do you play? Well, if you're playing, let's just say you're playing solo against the computer. Um, you will be able to see what the computer units is putting out at that particular turn and you can put counter units out because every unit has a counter in this. It's rock, paper, scissors, but it's way deeper than that because you can upgrade units, you can uh, equip them with new tech, and strategically placing them on the battlefield has a massive impact on how battles go. And there's a lot of other things you can bring out. You can bring out nuclear missiles, uh, strafing runs, shields, bombs, missiles, all kinds of stuff on the battlefields. And there's flanking areas where you can place units to flank the enemy positions. The object of the game is to destroy all the enemy's units and to take down his two structures, and likewise for them. You do this by spending the points that you get each turn. You will get a certain amount of points each turn, based on how well you did on the last round. I believe, that, I believe I'm pretty sure that's how it works. In this, and the points that you don't spend will be carried over to the, to the next round. It's very important that you understand what each mech does, what each unit does, and what counters it. Or if you don't know that information, then you're screwed because you'll, you'll get wrecked. You, it's very important to counter the enemy. If you're not going to counter them, then you've got to make sure you overwhelm them so they can't counter you. For example, the way counters work, you'll have like a marksman unit, which is an excellent sniping unit, which if you get that firing against the sole big unit, it will wear it down and take it out. So the best counter to something like a sniper is to hit it with a unit that's made up of a number of other units. Uh, there's lots of units in this game that uh, the class is one unit, but they may be made up of 20 other small units. And each little unit doesn't do much damage on its own, but when there's like 20 of them, they'll do some pretty decent damage and obviously a sniper sniping them has to take out 20 units before that one unit if you like is gone from the battlefield whereas if it's just firing against a single celled unit it just has to kill that then that unit's gone now the way that works is if your unit gets killed in battle the next battle it'll still be there but it will lose a life and you can see the lives marked at the top of the unit with the little white um the little like, white sort of rectangles and when all the, the rectangles have gone if it dies it's gone forever you can repair it by upgrading it um, so if you like a unit if there's a unit doing well for you obviously you want it to level up so you can you can keep it fresh and, and maybe upgrade it with tech as well now i don't pretend to know everything about this game because i haven't been able to play a lot of it this week and what i did play of it was before i caught the flu so i kind of forgot a lot of that so I've just started playing it again today, so I am very rusty at it, but I'm really enjoying it. It's a very, very enjoyable game. Not only because it looks awesome, the battle scenes, but just the strategy. I love the strategy of it. I love just having me to sort of think my way out uh, of the AI situations. I mean, playing a play is a whole different ball game. Um, they're way better than the AI, but playing the AI is quite fruity. It can put some decent plays down. And it is good just working out, flanking them and just putting down some good units. And when you get a good synergy going between your units, uh, I did these overlords, these like they look like Star Destroyers. Um, and he had pretty much no anti-air. And so I just doubled up on that and I absolutely decimated them. And it was a, such a nice feeling watching them. I upgraded the shit out of them and they just plowed through uh, his defences. And it, it is nice when uh, stuff all comes together like that. So it's a £15 game, still in early access, still getting a ton of content and a lot of balancing, and it does need balancing. 
Um, so it's definitely, definitely worth a buy. And uh, I'll check it out when it's finally finished. And we'll see where it ends up once it comes out of early access.